Welcome! Yeah. Woo! Nice. Everybody, welcome to Fate. Plus one. Plus one <laughs> will be joining Fate <laughs> at some point. He's going to be making his character tonight. I don't know if he's going to finish it. Because he's got to get level 18. No, oh, he's done. I just got to write down the stuff in the book and figure out, like... Yeah, I haven't really done with the app. Oh! Yeah. Neat. Okay. Uh, still, I think it'll be a still little needs bit to be before you are introduced. That's fine. So. I'm going to have to hang out. And I'm the king! Make, make some quips. I got, if it wasn't obvious by the time. We're actually right? recording now. I want to show you guys how it is. You just said what, that. What do you mean? Yeah. Like three times. Tanky healer. Yeah. I got a sweet new D&D book. Boom. 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 Badassery. The only problem uh, with it is that it weighs so much. Wait, that's shit time. It's D. It's D at that. that. And it's more light right. above law and evil. Yeah. Recap time. Yeah. And then, uh, what you? A long awaiting return or reunion. I, I have a little bit of uh, of a segue kind of thing to do after the recap, and then we'll jump in to. Happenings thereafter. So, Ulfgar, as you can see, is now wearing his crown because he won the day. Well, the group did, really. Yeah. Uh, Appleshnar is now back in the hands of the dwarves. Tommy's here, perfect timing. Woo! Many died. Many died. In the, uh, you know, release. But started, that was like, a risk I was willing to take. Oh, good. Risk. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Bob is here. Damn. Yeah. I thought we were going to have one good time. Bob Ruth <laughs> showing up. Everybody is here. Oh. Tommy made it. Yay! Yeah, my bad. Tommy. Tommy. Yes, wait. Well, Tommy. Oh, yeah. You're going to make Miranda cry. <laughs> is the stream on? Yes. Yep. 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 You it's are on. streaming in recording. Uh, uh, Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> is she watching? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, she's going to hate it. She's going to hate it. <laughs> We got a being surveilled. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, they freed Apochnar from Char. the hands of Mammon, played by he's free. <laughs> uh, played by my brother-in-law Brandon, to great effect. That's oh, Jerry Seinfeld. That's Jerry Seinfeld. I love, <laughs> that I was love. fucking it was, perfect. It was amazing. He enjoyed it enough. He said, "I could." Come stream in every now and then. That was like the longest session we've had in ages. It was yep. so long. Uh, it was yeah, amazing. This is this. And then we didn't. And oh, we wow. stayed up for another six, six hours. Six hours playing. playing. Dead of Winter. I, I had to get. I, I, I was. I still don't get to play. I was I was to play. So it's my game. So good. Dude. It's good, but stressful. Yeah. Well, I, of course it's gonna be stressful. Oh, You're trying not to die. Literally, I won. That game was terrible. You won. Me and Eli won. The ultimate victory. Not even the survivors all won, but me and Eli won. Okay. The Dwarven uh, people right. now have recovered their long lost treasure, which is uh, basically a uh, uh, shit ton of gold. Shit ton of money. Like, stupid money. Like, money is no longer an object. Like Bill Gates money. Kind of shit. Steve Jobs. You want to assume you don't need these <laughs> yeah. for any No, you're right, Bill Gates. Gates. All right. Yeah. Cool, I'm gonna go make it. Cool. Uh, Alright. And then, after that, sure. and we'll talk about a couple of things that happened. As, as we kind of go along. But they gate over because Psy and company get invited to a ceremony in Sartak City. So they take a long rest and they gate over uh, because high level people can do that. So they gate over and what happens is, and this is where we ended it. The Archdeacon of the uh, Church of Naut. By the way, that, so that le makes your um, um, tone stay on that app. Unless you physically, yeah. Cast True Resurrection. Oh, thank you. And someone else did too, probably. <laughs> to bring back at the same time. Okay, this has to come off now. Both of size so, parents. So sweaty. And that is where. We you left off. Left off. And and uh, Corey, could you mimic the expression you had on your face at the end of last session? Yeah. No, no. Mouth <laughs> is open. You just have a. 
Yeah. <laughs> It's like, surprise. Papa, let's have a catch. I, have a, <laughs> I had been uh, planning that for a while. Like, now, Sai's parents died when he was a kid. Young. How old is Sai now? Sai's not that old for an elf. Um, so is he like in his 70s? Uh, oh, let's see, I, had it, I think I had it written it's down. It's probably been a few years since yeah. you've written the yeah, right down. Up. Yeah, right at, right at 70. 70, so he's like 72-ish now. Yeah. So he's just now not a teenager. So he's like, they've been dead for like 60 years. It's a long time. Quite a long time. Um, yeah, for most people... Like, almost your entire waking life. Yeah. I mean, for and for most they humans, course, it's a, a, a lifetime. An entire a lifetime. lifetime. They, of course, rush over. Uh, they are not... Nude or anything like that. We gave them clothes. That weird looking. Resurrected with clothes. Do we with mistake clothes. them for someone trying to uh, attack us? Do we shoot They're them? attacking! Oh! Uh, no. Hey, no. Do you want to die? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how you die! And, and of course, they you know embrace you, and there's tears all around. Oh, all like. Over. Like just, as like as like like with that that face that I had earlier is probably gonna be like a sinking uh, down to like my knees like uh, into a sitting position just falling apart. Go into child pose. Yeah. Go into child pose. <laughs> and they kind of. You know, it's very appropriate. There is a crowd at this ceremony uh, because everybody knows who Fate is. The, the Damn the straight they do. And <clears throat> they want to, to be at the ceremony and like it's a huge uproarious cheer. Uh, and with that, we're going to take a brief segue. I have a few other items from Harry Potter. Well, i got two bookmarks. Uh, one's Hufflepuff and one's Griffin. Hufflepuff! So, i got a up. trivia question for you guys. <gasps> you can't answer it. Oh, this. come on! No gifts for you! No, like, you, <laughs> I doubt you know the answer to it. But you got a shit ton of your swag. This was in the sixth session. Oh, never mind. I thought it was the Harry Potter trivia. Sixth session. Jack and Diane. What is yeah. the name of the halfling werebear that turned imp <laughs> into a fucking into werebear? A werebear. Can we use our? What notes? is it? If, if you, you fucking have, have notes, it. <laughs> I do that, Look, if you have notes from the sixth session, still, I, 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 I remember because I thought he was gonna kill him. I'm super <laughs> impressed. You auto win. Oh wait. <laughs> like this it's is on the old sheet. It's on the old sheet. It wasn't oh. me up, was it? <laughs> <laughs> was it Varus the Bloodthirsty? Or Miev? Nope. No, there's no way. <laughs> Hold there's up. no way. Hold Cause up. Cause I was a fucking druid back then. <laughs> Hold up. Oh that's right, you were still a druid back then. <laughs> that's the reason I'm a new shirt. Alright, um James. <laughs> Rick. <laughs> Morty? It's <George>. actually <laughs> it's actually like Super uh, generic. Generic. Uh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Dildo. Hold up. Hold up. Dildo. Uh, no, you didn't go dildo swagons. Yeah. <laughs> dildo swagons. <laughs> wow, dude. Mad, There's a porn somewhere. <laughs> mad TV, man. Oh, is that what it was? All right. So you have to say it has to be. A great. It was that's a porn, a mad TV porn parody. That's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful is what it was. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna see the name. Who are you? Oh, there it is! <laughs> All right. so this he was, was way before you guys had notebooks. It was, yeah. a, it was a halfling werebear. Yes. It's like... I just... Is that a fist or a punch or a hammer <laughs> or a... <laughs> he was a halfling werebear barbarian. That you fought in I know. Did he make in, in the Fight Club. <laughs> oh yeah, you did. That's how we. Yeah. And I have, and I have Fight, Fight Club. Club written down right here. I just don't have his name. I use <laughs> I use a lifeline. Can I call Ray? This is from the beginning. Like this is yeah yeah. Everybody knows this is from the beginning. Isn't he at work? Tyler Wise. I'll text them then. Dunder Hook. No, it's <laughs> one syllable. Hold up. I'll give you that. It's one syllable. George. And it's highly relevant to what he is. is. Where? Who's got headphones? Bear. Uh, <laughs> uh, mouse. Mouse. <laughs> no. Tommy, you are correct. Uh, it's bear. It's bear. 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 It, was bear. <laughs> it was just bear. It's Bert. Uh, cheating, motherfucker. Do you want 
What's the other? Hufflepuff or Gryffindor? That's oh. all I got left. Gryffindor. Yeah. Gryffindor. Nice. Dumbledore. Does anybody have, know anybody that's bad as Hufflepuff? Now that I learn how to read, my mind is like, I won't be able to use this. You take it. <laughs> I've got enough stuff. I'll eat all of that. That was a fun, and we're going to be doing a lot more of that this session, and we will, not not the trivia part, but you will see. I like that. Okay. That's good. Balls. I, I have Fight Club written down. So. <laughs> I just don't have the name of the dude that ran the fight club. So he was a were But also, bear. first rule was don't talk about fight club. Yeah, but you oh, would write down his name. What is it? Well, he's yeah. stupid. So. Yeah. Because yeah. Kagan's there. Yeah, okay. Which Kagan? Young Kagan. Okay. Like, we won't see the old one. No. Old old Kagan bounced. Yeah, we he's will like, not see him. Out Y'all sent me to the abyss. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> so he he's out. Um, but he in there. He just kind of got... Now, you, of course... It takes you a while to compose yourself, I'm sure. And there's like all these like, I love you and etc. Right? As you do. As you do when reunited with someone that you haven't seen that has been dead for, for your years. most of lifetime. For, for for most of your life. I would think they're not yeah. actually who they say. We have. We have I just resurrected them. We have so many questions not. for you. Uh, by the way. Why is there a dwarf with a golden arm? That's the first question. <laughs> Kagan, um, kind it's of our golden arm. Kind of turns his kind of like, 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 like leans over to it's you like guys that. and says, um, "Whenever it's convenient, we need to have a, a meeting. Like, a meeting, an actual <laughs> meeting about guild stuff. Not your group and what you're doing as a whole, but a few." sort of upkeep things that we need to talk about. Uh, Kitty. <laughs> now, I need a pencil. Pencil. Pencils are uh, over right there. Here. Right above uh, your head, Evander. You see the decks? Yeah, there you go. We have your dragon eggs in our castle. It got stolen. Yeah, yeah our the, castle. The, the, the castle exists. got destroyed. I wonder that. We never got the egg back. Destroyed. Uh, no. I spent a lot of money on that castle. Oh, we did. We did. I just got one uh, for free! It can, it can be repaired. Well, uh, there's a lot of dead people. It costs it's the not, life of every... It's, there's it's a lot of dead people. It's relevant. It also it just would be a drop in the bucket for some people. Yeah. Just just blowing money on a castle isn't the same as going and claiming one for yourself. That's true. My castle. Well, you guys did claim it. I know, I'm saying... That's the so, thing. And but, then you paid to repair it. And right. then it got destroyed. Now I don't want to pay to repair it. Also killed an owlbear in there. Don't strike me dead. I got, tra- I got trapped in a containment field. A little bit. That's right, you did. And I can't, and like, every, like no one knew how to get me out. These are all excellent stories that we will be going into. So here's here's what's going to happen. Let's do the meeting first. Okay. And then we'll get into the uh, tavern. Most of the session will be spent in the tavern with Nial and Sairi. Mm-hmm. No. Size, size, father, and mother. Oh shit! Respectively. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, back to life their telling <laughs> them of your adventures. Ah, cool. Uh, which will be really fun, I think. And we can like reminisce. It'll be a big recap. Stories and stuff. It's gonna be really, really good. Really good times. Uh, but the meeting. You guys, remember this? I remember. Oh, please, I remember. Remember. <laughs> please tell me we put Boneface away. Because yeah. it'd be really awkward in no, a witch we, just we don't keep him around. around. He doesn't like to be around <laughs> yeah. until we I mean, demand he, that he's around. <laughs> I mean, he just kind of goes... He's, he's, probably, he's actually... Bitch. He's like... He's he like wanders off. No, he probably got left in Apple Snore. He's probably just floating around your, the halls of your kingdom. <laughs> 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 Taking it over. No. Saying so, if anyone kills him, well, I have a selector. He's just going <laughs> to reappear in a minute. Reappear, yeah. <laughs> okay. Five minutes later... I was just trying to get the goblet! So, <laughs> you leave temporarily. Um, you leave Nial and Sairi in the safest place no. that you know of. The sexy badger. Oh, God. No, yeah. seriously, this is the safest place. Yeah. Outside yeah. of the guild building. Penumbra. Uh, and, you know, there, have some drinks. And... Is this the one I ran through? Uh, yes, it has long since been repaired. Oh, you can't even tell we'll now. We'll talk about that. But we'll talk about that. We'll get back I to that. I think it's this one anyway. I'll, we'll look. I just really opened like three more. I'll be like That's flipping good. through. Well, he opened a couple of, of Wait, other places. Didn't that I we'll talk about. Well? That's part of the meeting. Ah. I also did. So 
you make your way over to the guild hall and up to Kagan's office. He's sitting there. He has the appropriate number of seats. Everyone is there, including uh, Elric. Elric, because you play two casters. I yeah, I, I I know. I'll remind you. Do they have a conversation? Yeah. Like in this, like can they can communicate fucking, together? Uh, <laughs> I want to see him uh, try to do that. That was my, that was my favorite. Elias are not even close to each other. It'd be great to see. Um, yeah, Elias is only level fourteen right now. Yeah. It'd be I think fun to see Vlad and Ulfgar trying to communicate. Yeah, yeah. That would be that, that would be awesome. Would I'm do. I'm pretty sure that okay. one of my favorite role playing things that I've ever done is uh, when we played our zombie RPG, and we made you have a conversation as Batman uh, with the guy who you thought was Gordon. <laughs> was your NPC. That was person. fun as shit, though. That was super fun. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna be on. So, uh, the guild. With his flaw was that he had a psychotic um, break and thought he was actually. We bad. have. We were all under. given like, the circumstantial understanding that God. Eisenschmidt Fucking is Batman. no longer with like us. Yeah. Um, having wow. asked and right, to yeah. spend time in the afterlife, I suppose, with, with Aaron. Aaron. <laughs> Um, there is the matter of his estate that needs to be dealt with. Uh, now he does have a son who is still like two at this point. Um, (laughs) very, very young. Uh, now, Isaac Schmidt, if you recall, has three taverns. Oh, yeah. Schmidt's Station, Telnos Trick, and Aaron's Emporium. Uh... Within the city. Yep. Now, there's a couple of routes we can take here. Uh, one is that the guild itself can oversee these until Schmidt is old enough to take control. Uh, second option is, of course, it can go to another individual within the faith group uh, until. Well, I don't know which one he's going to do by the time he's older, so... So he may not even want to run a tavern. Huh? He may not even want to run a tavern. He may not even want to run the tavern. Last he may want to stay really far away from his, alcohol. He is still... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. Like, totally so like, because just, of his dad. Yes. Well, straight edge. Uh, he is currently being cared for by Ulfgar's... Dwalin. Brother, Dwalin. Yeah, I totally won't uh, start drinking. So doors, that ever. <laughs> literally, as we don't know what water as, is, <laughs> as as Alcoma pointed out to me, that literally sort of makes Ulfgar Uncle Frosty. Yep. Uh, in in curious ways. <clears throat> so and Dwalin is perfectly fine taking care of the boy. He's going to be moving to Alphosniar. Niar. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Niar. So <laughs> if if it's all if it's all right with everyone, he'll yeah, be yeah. taking Shmiti with him. I think that that will be fine. He will be raised in the very capable hands of the dwarves in a remarkably safe place. <laughs> and uh, we fixed it. And, a very and it'll be underground. <laughs> what, what race was Aaron? Was she just an elf? No, so she's she another dark elf. She's another dark okay. elf. So he's so a that's... pure death elf kid being raised by dwarves. dwarves. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. I mean, <laughs> Nothing can go wrong here. No. <laughs> it's perfect. That's the it's, best it's really situation good. possible. Really, really good. Okay. <laughs> They're gonna here. give him for his like 16th birthday. They're gonna give him like a uh, belt of dwarven kind so he can have his own beard. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. there you go. Shmitty goes with. That's a big HP cut. You're death Are elves. You Do they have white hair or? Hmm? I'm, they I'm actually have out black hair. Cool. Like white skin and black hair, kind of. In cool. So he can fucking. But most but yeah. death elves. Are shaven. Yeah, I know. Because I'm just saying, like, the, what would Schmitty grow a white beard and. It would be a black beard. Or, uh, yeah, a black beard, so. Be a pretty badass looking motherfucker. With his belt of dwarven cotton once he's he would. of age. Yes. Alright. Uh, Evander, your shop is, is doing well. Yeah. Evander is odds and ends. Yeah, but you, there's not that many people that have. There are a few, uh, because, you know. Obviously, you can't be there, but a little bit of time. So it is being managed by the guild, and there are a few tinkerers there that have uh, begun working on 
some things for the shop. And, and I want a voice. I want a gun in every kid's hand. I want a shoot gun that shoots guns. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end goal. Okay, so that's a problem because the gnome task force will come and get you. Quickly. Well, I'm not going to start giving them out. They have to pay for them. Yeah, the no, no task force will thing. still come and get they you. Can still also a problem. Pay for <laughs> what's, what's the age you, required? We'll do background. Yeah, yeah, is there a law? We'll do yeah, D and D background no checks. Yeah, we'll do D and D background checks. You've seen mechs, right? Yeah, you've been in one, from what I understand. A little bit. Uh, dabbled. They have several <laughs> as part of their task force. Oh. He has a bear. You don't want. Any we have a Hulk. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. We have a Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me on this. We have you been. Uh, uh, we have this been. No, no. I understand. <laughs> yeah. And, and you what can't that? sell certain <laughs> gun-oriented things to those who are already registered with. We, we the task. But you we could sell, sell and gun toys to kids. Right. Like <laughs> clockwork toys. That maybe this you, you, can, pew, pew. You, <laughs> you can sell like little fake guns that might yeah. shoot like like foam, like like Nerf guns. I want that yeah. to to kids and stuff. Yeah, you yeah. need to make beer guns. Beer guns. That's that, they just shoot beer. Well, well, we gotta work together as business partners. <laughs> just get water guns and put beer in it. No, it has to be more complicated. It's, it's gun gotta gun. be more complicated <laughs> than that. Like basically, the like there beer needs to be, a, be the there needs to be like a fuel, fuel. like a giant. There needs to be like a, just a cask like and a hose comes out carbonator and involved. <laughs> it's like it has like has it like raw and then like it carbonates it as that it's like flowing out. So much. Imps could carry it. That's why you put it on Imps. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh, there are some other things as well. Uh, obviously, we'll need to work out some sort of trade agreement. That can be done. And there was one. Kind in, of in charge. There was one in the. <laughs> It's like very good. So, so just let me get this straight, King. You, you knew of Apple Shard's existence before I told you. Yeah. I was unaware of it until Arusha told me. In the future. Well, it's very old documentation that most of it doesn't even exist anymore. It's we have a few mentions of that, but because once once you told us. Oh, that's when you went and looked at that. Okay. It, that existed. We went and looked and found a few very ancient texts that had mentioned it and some of the items that we traded. Making sure. Yeah. No, no. If we knew about it beforehand, we probably would have sent like people to figure it out, scope it out, and see what the hell's going on with it. Uh, we got you. We got you. All right. Making sure. What? Uh, so your your title now is High King. High King of Apple Shiar and uh, the Dwarfs. Sorry. Okay, so you prefer... Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <laughs> yeah. Just call me Ulfgar because you're Kagan and you're I'm still just, me boss. I'm just, I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna call you <laughs> Ulfgar, but that's okay. I think I that could call work. you King Ulfgar. Who is the king like of that. this area? No. Bad image. The guild. Was the the guild. guild. Is there a king here? No. We, this is not a monarchy here. Okay. Let's check. Let's you can't be the king of, of this area, man. Well, it's sort of... We'll see. It's all about the implication. Is it kind of like that distant land of Albion where there's a, there's a queen? <laughs> no. Um... I would call it a dictatorship. Yeah. Is basically what it is. Uh, there is a council that has Hagen a consults with. But that's it. But ultimately, the guild master has final say in all things. It's guilds. basically like Russia. It's. <laughs> in some I mean, Russia! I mean, Putin, I Putin is ex KGB. Yep. I guess. Kagan is. Start for the bottom now, he's there. Penumbra. <laughs> he's still Penumbra. But okay, well, he came from Penumbra backgrounds. What's Penumbra? He's always Penumbra. Probably not going out of power anytime soon. That's true. Un un unless he, like, steps down. Mm -hmm. All right. 
the tabbies. Yeah, yeah we're pauses talking. and um, yeah, periods. Uh, it um, basically at the end of the song, it has to like re re up re loop. Yeah, it's not continuous. Oh, it's it's bards playing for food, something like that. Are song. there any other musicians playing for mead? Are there any Can't other mead things? <laughs> Like actual guild business that you think we need to, to discuss. How are my businesses doing? Wait, did I, I have businesses too, didn't I? I mean, should I even uh, keep operating uh, them as a foreign power? Like, maybe I didn't get anything yeah. from it. <laughs> Uncle Frosty's. <laughs> yeah, I think he's giving money. The yeah, brewery. that was not my idea. Right. The brewery. The brewery and Smithy. And, that's right. Uh, <laughs> come oh. get a hammer and get hammered. Yep. <laughs> or something like that. I forget it, what it was, but it's it was clever. Uh, okay. It's, uh, it's too But should I keep operating it as a foreign power operating on your soil? Ah. Political. That is a great question. I mean, I'm not going to raise any fuss if you aren't. I came here to kill a lot of I don't, so long as, as no corruption goes down, I don't foresee there being any I mean, service. I've got an entire castle full of breweries and smithies. This is just a side business. Fair now it is. It's an it? outlet now. Yes. It, now it is. It's, in the beginning, it was the, I needed to make some money. Now it's just now it's I an need outlet. Some pocket change. The Apple Schnar <laughs> outlet. Yeah. Uh, that's good. You should open app an Apple Apple Schnar tap room in every section of the city. Mm. What an idea. So, that being done, thank you for that. Um, what is what has happened with Eisenschmidt's belongings? Are those going to Schmidty? Yeah. Yes, I've got them in my bag of holding. Okay. He doesn't get the boat bag. Wait. <laughs> okay. I took the boat bag. Yeah, because Imch has the boat bag. Imch has the boat bag. <laughs> right. Well, got so wait. Else. Not only killed him, but he looted him. Yeah. That's exactly what we did. It did exact, exactly what we did to Terrell. How do you think uh, I got this belt? That's true. They did. Like, when Terrell's like, fuck off, they just looted his Well, he <laughs> said fuck off for the first off. part. It was a monster, like, dog. All right. Now, we need that, uh, a couple of things. Handbook, yeah. Do you want to reveal the other thing before we get into the... Uh, oh, yes. Um, reminiscence. Kagan. Do you have anyone who could do a, like a projection scrying spell like our little Boneface friend can, or do we need to call Boneface? Uh, I could probably get someone. It wouldn't be an immediate thing. Sure, there's someone. Call Boneface. Calderax, we need you. Calderax. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, in 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 a swirl of uh, mist, mist of deathly gray mist, mist. Uh, out. Comes the horrifying visage of Calderax. A lich. A he, lich looks, he looks so, like, <laughs> pissed. Fed up with this shit. Yeah. <laughs> but at this like, point, like, any like single one of us could probably go to a King yeah, He's like, Can I use him as an XP grab? What? <laughs> 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 you fucking yeah. him. <laughs> you want this time? Calderax. Boneface. What's the name? Boneface. Can you scry on. The newly constructed Hall of Heroes at Apple's Yard and put it up on the screen or whatever the hell it is you do. Uh, sure, why not? Well, that, <laughs> that will take a little while. It's a strange accent. Kind of so it's a strange dialect. Well, I mean, it's Ooh. currently being constructed, the, and I mean, sure. like, want to look at it? Be. Sure, why not? Oh, okay. I mean, I, I it took it. You said it took us about a week to to get everything done with his parents and everything. Right. right. Yeah. So, so we would have gotten has the, we would have gotten the bus done by now. Oh, okay, like, the precast yeah. bust, I got you. Like, several of them? All the ones that we, that we discussed. Okay. Didn't my croc have a break? So... Yes, it did. Yeah. It did, it broke finally. Okay, after, since since after, the beginning. After all these years. We used it, like, twice. Uh, okay. What was that? So, the Calderac... Oh, yeah. The, uh... Calderac does his little crying thing in the, in the screen up here. And you see... In the forge area, they have begun making these busts. These, these probably from like the chest yeah. or so up. Except for one, which is the full body that we get to that. 
but it is... And, it's, and the throne being melted down. Right. Oh, it's not um, you can see the... It was mine. No, it wasn't. You can see the giant throne of... Uh, it's my house! That, that mammon this. was sitting on is in pieces and has been, uh, ha- has been melted down to begin creating these busts. And you immediately notice that it looks like all of you. Oh. Uh, is this like life size or a little bit bigger? Life size. Life size. Life size busts from about the chest up. Not with the us. exception of one that's in the center of all of the other ones, and that is Elijah Schmidt. It's the full. It's a full body. It's him. Uh, well, it's not his body now. It's not. Well, his yeah, body. but it's him. It's it's him, standing with his bow to bag. Yep. Tilt it up. <laughs> and the other hand out uh, to cast something. And the other hand out to cast something. All, of course, in gold. And there's like, you can see them beginning to like affix like gems and some things like that. So it's, Bedazzle it. It's, it's going to be real. It's nice. got like a few like, that look like it's like trickling down the corner <laughs> of his mouth. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> I like that. They're, they're diamonds, so they sparkle. It's like cool. Get a, get a. Talk shit up. Should I have, have like a, a of dwarven ladies around him on, on their knees. <laughs> oh, like <laughs> holding his like legs. <laughs> so when they're, when they're six, probably won't go. Six dwarven women yeah, are holding them up in the air. Oh my God. Yeah. That probably won't go over too that well in the dwarven not, capital. That's like no. That is that's, that's wrong. That is NSFW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't like think 18. they're gonna do that. Yeah, was really so was like, there enough to do the the generals from the from the battle outside too? Uh. There was a big fucking throne. To do, yeah. So, I'm going to address the group. So, what you see here is my, um, a part of my thanks to all of you for helping me free my home and get me my crown. And, uh, all of that. These are going to be displayed in a new hall that I'm creating at Alphonsniar called the Hall of Heroes. All of you will be displayed inside for right by eternity. Eisenschmidt. And, and Eisenschmidt right in the middle since he gave his life for it. So there's all of us. There's all of our generals from the battle outside. Nice. And yeah. There will also be a place for you know weapons or anything that was recovered from the battlefield of those who have fallen. I hope you told the sculptors that very large package. <laughs> You're, it's just your head up, Imsh. You're from like right here. They need to know it. It's, it's necessary information. <laughs> yeah, it's just me from here. And there's just me a dick. So, <laughs> it's like while you're sculpting, you need to make sure you get the correct like half a smile, like he knows that he's packing down there. <laughs> you smirk. Wow. Your your statue is actually a bit special, Imsh. When looked at from one side, it'll look like half orc. On the other, bear. Yeah, there you go. Shifty little magic. That is cool. I dig it. I, I like dig it. it. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like Boxes. that uh, Lincoln statue, Lincoln bust at the in uh, DC, where if you look at it from one side, it's smiling, and the other side, it's pissed off. Oh yeah. I got gotcha. you. Nice. Yeah. Cool with that. So yeah, and plus, um, we never discussed how much money was down there. But I'm gonna say around fifty thousand to everybody. That is not even a problem. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a drop in the bucket. It's a drop in the bucket. How much is a kingdom? Sai, price? what is your? Uh, what is your? I'm just gonna write an infinity in perse- on my your, money. Uh, <laughs> passive perception. Passive perception. That's what I was about. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. I'm gonna plus fifteen. That's that's really freaking good. It actually, man, that's close on. to mine. <clears throat> Do you want to? Yeah, that's correct. Exchange five actual diamonds for money. You can. That would weigh a shit ton, technically. But you can just He's buy got a, things with astral diamonds. Well, he has that barrel that He's no one's in having. Gold, just walk around with. I've got. I don't know one of my. I've got one hundred and nineteen thousand gold and five actual diamonds. I remember one of my favorite items. I have uh, an reading about was uh. Was, was, <laughs> was it Cantor? Is that the the, the Cantor? No, 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 Cantor. I th- or no, no, I don't think it was his name. 
is the wizard guy in. I can't remember the name. Merrick? It's the second of the cell swords with uh, oh. Ar- oh, no, no. Artemis and Trary and uh, Jarlaxle is the one where they go and like the living oh. castle place. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, at the beginning yeah. of it, he has that tent. That like whenever you go in, there's like a little, just a little rope, and he climbs up the rope, and it's like an entire like sprawling den. That uh, is a uh, rope trick. Yeah, spell. yeah. Rope, yeah. rope trick. Yeah, that uh, creates a pocket dimension. Oh, it's cool. It's, it's super dope. It's cool. Oh, it's not really. Like it's, I just it's have one of those situation. in your backpack. Yeah, it's a very situation. Are expensive, by the way. <laughs> uh, over. Thirty-five minutes. Okay, we so will be right back later. Bye.